Good morning, it's Thursday, December 17th, and this is the Herald Review's newest podcast, The Daily Chirp. We're excited to bring you a closer look at one of our top stories, events in the community, local history, sports, and more. Today, we're focused on the two solar farms that have been approved for Baba Komri. But first, a quick message from our sponsor. Hi everyone, I'm Sean Lawley from the Lawley Automotive Group, and we've stocked up on inventory at all of our dealerships. If you've been thinking about a new car, we've got the deal for you on a new Buick, GMC, Chevrolet, Ford, Kia, Hyundai, Honda, Nissan, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. You don't have to go to Tucson or Phoenix to buy a new vehicle. We're your hometown dealer since 1995. We'll beat the big city dealers in price, and our customer service is small town dealer friendly. Come into any one of the Lawley dealerships today, or shop lawleycars.com and see why nobody beats a Lawley deal. Nobody. Before we begin, some local history. In the early 1900s, driven by the booming mining industry, Bisbee had become the largest city between St. Louis and San Francisco. It had a population of over 20,000 people, and was one of the most cultured cities in the West. Today's history was brought to you by Benson Hospital. They're doing more than treating illnesses in Benson, they're building a healthier community. Benson Hospital donated rescue inhalers to Cochise County Schools to help keep kids healthy and out of the ER. To learn more, visit their website at bensonhospital.org. Now our feature story. The County Planning and Zoning Commission has approved two solar farms during the December 9th meeting in a 4-3 vote. The two facilities will power 56,000 homes. A new above-ground utility line will also be constructed between the two facilities. It'll tie into the existing Tucson electric power transmission line that runs from Fort Huachuca to the Tucson area. The expected date for beginning power generation is 2022. Dustin Thompson with Clinera said there would be minimal impact to the environment and community, though during the construction phase there could be dust and some increased truck traffic. The solar farms will be about 1.5 miles from the nearest residence, and the fencing around it will still allow small wildlife to use the land. Over the life of the plants, which is estimated to be about 35 years, close to $5 million will go to the county and education in property taxes. About 350 jobs will be created during the construction, and some of those positions may be filled by local workers. The department also sent out about 900 letters to surrounding property owners, the Federal Aviation Administration, and airports in Sierra Vista, Benson, and Fort Huachuca. There were only five letters of support and five letters in opposition that returned from the public. Commissioner Kim DePew voiced concern over selling power to Tucson and not keeping it in the county. And Charles McChesney, owner of the Baba Comery Ranch, said the family has owned the land for 100 years and has been actively protecting it with conservation easements, erosion control measures, and seeding with native grasses. He believed the solar farms would be a productive use of the land. Want to stay up to date on what's going on? Join Neighbor, your trusted neighborhood community. Neighbor is a free online forum you can trust to connect with your community, focus on facts, and make a difference. Join the conversation. Visit nabur.myheraldreview.com. We also want to take a moment today to recognize athletes in our community, brought to you by Apex Network Physical Therapy. Providing physical therapy to the community, Apex Network offers a wide range of services, including manual therapy, industrial rehab, dry needling, golf rehab, and more. To learn more, go to apexnetworkpt.com. Douglas High School's softball team has a long-standing tradition of giving back to the community during the holiday season. But due to the coronavirus, many of the events the Bulldogs normally participate in have been cancelled or postponed, which left Coach Lorena Tapia wondering what her team would do this year. Coach Tapia told us that, quote, We heard about some ornaments that needed to be refurbished that would then be hung up around the 10th Street Park where the tree is. So, the team refurbished the ornaments. A brand new ornament like this costs between $500 and $700. The team takes pride in knowing they had a hand getting that ornament up there as they drive downtown. Finally, today we're remembering the life of Sandy Conaway, loving wife and mother of three children. Sandy was born in 1952 in Wheeling, West Virginia, and she married Daniel Lee Conaway in 1972. She loved to travel and enjoyed being a passenger of life. She lived in England for many years and traveled across the U.S., even to Hawaii. Sandy was an avid moviegoer and liked picnics in the park, backyard barbecues, and family dinners. 
She was front and center of every gathering, and her small group Bible study with friends was her home away from home. She is survived by her three children, her sister, and by her ten grandchildren, five great-grandchildren, cousins, niece, and nephew. You can donate on Sandy's behalf to the First Baptist Church in Sierra Vista. Thank you for taking a moment today to remember and celebrate Sandy's life. Thanks for tuning in to the Herald Review podcast today. Join us again next week. If you like our podcast, we'd really appreciate it if you'd give us a review or a rating in Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen. And if you're up for it, tell a few friends about The Daily Chirp, or send us an email about stories you'd like to hear, or just with your thoughts. And remember, The Herald Review is here for you with local news you can trust. For more information on any of the stories you heard about today, visit us at myheraldreview.com. Right now, you can become a member starting at just $1.99 per week.